I guess what I'm going to leave this, my comments with. Turn up. Yeah. Come on, you guys have been around here long enough. Turnovers. Turnovers. Everything looks better, guys, when the ball goes in the basket. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Uh, Nate was awesome. Uh, feel so good for him. He had the death in the family's grandfather the night of the North Carolina State game. 15 stitches in his mouth at Wake Forest. Uh, uh, he's been battling, battling, battling. Uh, Marcus, 22 points, but the most impressive thing, eight assists, zero turnovers, and the rest of our team was throwing it everywhere that Syracuse was standing. Um, I thought Ben and Jay was really good for them, but man, a oh man, was Christmas and Cooney, they were really something. Uh, first half, I thought they outcompeted us, and our turnovers led to 16 points, and you can't have 13 turnovers in a half and have a team outscore you 16 to 2. So I challenged them with the toughness in the second half. I, we still turned it over a couple of times, but I did think that we were much uh, tougher physically and mentally, probably more so mentally. And uh, I think that, uh, yeah, it just helps when the ball goes in the basket. Bryce was one for one at half <coughs> and uh, ended up six for six. I told him we needed him to get involved uh, because he was a non-factor in the first half, and I thought he was really good in the second half. And, you know, we got three guys got 17 and another guy got 22. Uh, against a defense that's really tough for us. We don't shoot the ball exceptionally well, to say the least, but uh, 9 out of 16 tonight, I'd take that uh, every night, to say the least. Uh, again, congratulate them. They played Saturday at their place and had to come all the way down here. And, uh, you know, maybe we were able to play a few more people than they were, and maybe that helped at the end, but you'd have to ask Jimmy that. But I uh, feel very fortunate to win, and we made some, uh, had a lot of guys making some good plays for us, to be honest with you. Confidence he's made a bunch. He's made a bunch of them in practice. He really has. Now, not recently because he hadn't made anything. Uh, but uh, he's had some games where he's really shot. Not excuse me. He's had some practices where he's really shot the ball well. Um, we have a, c a couple of shooting drills that he's done as well as anybody in those shooting drills. It just two for fourteen or something like that for the three games prior to last game. Is that right, Steve? And. And so I think just uh, he kept shooting, kept working, and needless to say, his mouth felt a little bit better, so that may have helped. Was there ever a point where you were maybe skeptical of the switch from no, the left no, to right? No, no, no. His shot looks, his, his release looks great, and his left-handed release because of the hitch he had is taken up never looked great. I've never doubted that uh, decision, and uh, I was so proud of him for going along with it immediately and so far, proud of his father for not only going along with, but he said, Coach, I started thinking about the same thing. So you love it when you have that kind of support from the family. And uh, and he has. He's been struggling. Uh, but uh, the little rascal was a big-time player for us tonight. Syracuse deflected a lot of passes in the first half. That was less of an issue as the game went on. What kind of adjustments did you guys make for us? I think we had better movement of our big guys trying to get them more involved. And then, you know, I told my guys we were either dead or stupid if you don't listen to one thing. You can't just throw the ball across court. They're big. They go get it. You can't just soft it past everything because they deflect it. Uh, 13, pass, 13 turnovers in the first half. Uh, uh, we, we, that's about all we talked about at halftime. But, uh, and I told them, you know, again, that uh, I preach all the time, your hands are extremely important to you on the defensive end, deflecting passes, not reaching in and trying to steal the ball. So we learned something from Syracuse tonight, and I hope we get better with our hands too. A lot of guys had flare-ups throughout the course of the evening, but Marcus was just steady mm -hmm. and constant. Is this the, uh, was this maybe his best performance this year? And are the, are the questions that you were getting three and four weeks ago, are they no longer uh, even a factor now? Even I really don't care about the questions. I really don't. I don't care if it's you or the Pope, and I'm not Catholic, so I'm <laughs> not making the Pope mad. I never questioned him. I never questioned him. So I, I really don't care. I got the same kind of questions his freshman year and the same kind of questions uh, Start of the year last year. You really think he's as good as you say he is, and uh, so that didn't bother me in the least. It uh, you'll have to ask him, but it didn't bother me because well, I know basketball. He's he's playing better now, and he's shots he's going in. He's getting a little more healthy is a big thing too, but he's getting a little more help now too. Uh, but uh, no, I wasn't. I, I told you guys more than once. If Marcus was my biggest concern, I've got a really blessed life, but. Uh, you know, Justin Jackson really been playing well, and tonight, uh, you know, he was sort of out of it a little bit, but uh, he was big for us for three games. And Bryce and Kennedy, uh, I got really mad at Bryce defensively a couple of times, and then he got every defensive rebound, it seemed, at the end. Uh, but when they were playing Christmas on the low post, and 
pretty, Kennedy's doing a pretty good job and getting pretty good pressure on the ball and they can't get to him. Bryce just lets his guy cut to the foul line and get the ball and he dump it in. It's not very bright. So I put Jackson in so I could show that to <coughs> Bryce on, on the uh, clipboard and I think he understood it and got a little better at it too. Speaking of Bryce and Kennedy, it seemed like they were more efficient in the post, establishing positions. Second the half. half. Yeah, second half. Well, Kennedy was two for seven at half, so I don't know what he ended up, six for 13, so that's better. Uh, four for six the second half. But, uh, uh, you know, Christmas is a load, and uh, uh, they can't go for too many block shots, though, because they only got five or six guys. I mean, Jimmy's had some terrible losses. I mean, uh, Coleman and uh, McCullough are two guys that they were counting on. And so that give, doesn't give them much depth up front. And, again, I don't like to talk too much about the other team, but those injuries have really been big for Jimmy, and his guy's got to stay out of foul trouble. I think Leighton tried to go to short corner against them. I think you guys have had success throwing the free throw line against that zone. Is there a certain area you wanted to attack? Well, I think the way they play it, it's it, with the long athletes with the hands, as Andrew was saying, it makes it difficult to skip pass and all that. But there is a hole right in the middle of the zone. and uh, But they cover up for it better than anybody. Last year up there, we were really good the first five or six minutes, and then they just closed it off, and we didn't get it there anymore. But uh, Bryce and Kennedy in the second half, I thought they'd got much better movement and got the ball in there. Anybody else? Right, Thanks, thank guys.